Hey guys, Tom Terrams of Linux MCE. I wanted to show a quick progress report of the uh, AirTunes and AirPlay support that's being added into Linux MCE right now. Uh, first up is of course AirTunes support, which I finished over the weekend here. AirPlay support is still coming, as it's a totally different protocol and will have to be uh, engineered from the ground up. But for now, let's just go ahead and show the AirTunes support. AirTunes is, of course, integrated into all aspects of Linux MCE, including the AV control and everything else, so it just works once it's installed. So let's show you. We have right here a, uh, a copy of iTunes right here, and we have the sound panel over here. Now, you'll notice if we actually go into the uh, AirPlay panel here, You'll see the Den MD, the uh, Living Room Hybrid, and you'll also see my amplifier, uh, which I cannot turn off, but we will not be using it for the purposes of this demonstration. Just uh, this guy and this guy. And for the reference, the Den MD is actually this guy over here. So I'll go ahead and select the Den MD here. We'll notice that the uh, AirPlay icon has now turned blue to indicate that we've connected to the remote source. And I will now play a song. Double click that. And you'll notice that the TV has come on and a control panel has shown up here. Volume control on iTunes affects the output of the TV. I still need to integrate the uh, volume control messages so that they get translated into discrete volume controls for Linux MCE devices if you have them. But that's upcoming. And if we stop the connection, either by pausing or by switching off of the computer connection here, back to the computer. The connection is stopped and the audio source goes right back to where we were. Going back. Now, of course, we'll go ahead and go into the living room here. It takes a moment for iTunes to switch sometimes. But once it does... You can see. And of course, multiple sound destinations also work as part of the spec as well. Now, as a side effect of this, we actually do see two AirPlay audio streams bifurcated here, but there's really not much we can do about this. But as you can see here, the two AirPlay streams are reasonably in sync.
we'll go ahead and uh, kill this. As you can see, as you can see, back to normal. And as a final test, I'll show you that it even works for audio output here. We'll select the DNMD as the AirPlay output source. And we'll go back to some, uh, some Opie and Anthony that I'm listening to on Hulk's here. So, there you go. There's AirTune support so far. If we stop it and pause it, interesting side effect. If the connection's not being used for a few moments, it will close it. One, two, there we go. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, the AirTune support as it is right now, still some issues and things to work out and of course i gotta do airplay support too but that'll be coming soon so um until next time guys see you later